celebration. It's October, and there's lots of pumpkins around. So, the obvious question is... The obvious question is, how are you going to make a pumpkin launcher? A pumpkin launcher? Where'd you get that? Hmm, you got a lot of pumpkins. Why not? You're right. It's a good idea. Okay, I guess in this video we're going to be building a pumpkin launcher. Let's get into it. Okay, these are going to be the materials that we think you're going to need. You may need more depending on how this project goes. So, some wood, a drill, we like hand drills here, some zip ties, some eye bolts, U um, hooks, a bunch of, you know, nuts and boldy stuff, um, some spray paint, safety glasses, you're going to need a grinder, some PVC pipe parts, preferably as thick as you can pretty much get, something that could fit a small pumpkin in it, a um, bow and arrow or something that would work to propel things, and always some duct tape. Okay, the first thing we're going to be doing is spray painting this bow. Okay, we just finished spray painting our bow black. It looks pretty good. So here's going to be the basic idea of how this is going to work. Our bow is going to be strapped on right here. We drew these lines along it um, on both sides so that you can, you know, kind of see. Actually, it'd be like this, sorry. Um, so what it's going to be is we're going to cut through here with an angle grinder. My dad's going to do that. And we're going to restring the bow so that the string goes through these slots and comes out the other side. So we'll have a little bucket like that in it. And um, so when we pull back and let go, anything that's in there will be fired and launched as far as we want. It's going to be epic. Okay, now my dad is going to cut where we have marked on this PVC pipe with an angle grinder. My dad's doing it because my mom's scared I'm going to cut off my fingers. In our PVC pipe. Now I'm going to clean it up using this file. So, what we want this, we want it to be super smooth so that um, when we shoot our arrow through it, it doesn't damage our string and it's nice and smooth. Okay, we just finished filing our notch. Now, what we're going to do is spray paint this up. So, I'm going to set this down and just get spraying. Okay, it's a new day and we're going to be back at it again. So, we have our notches and this spray painted. And the next thing we're going to do is add some railing along the bottom so we can attach our handles. And for our trigger, how that's going to work, we have some coat hanger wire and we are going to, um, so our, um, string will be resting in this notch and the plan will be that this will be coming out and around and when we pull the trigger back it flicks the wire up causing it to go forward and shoot our um, pumpkin or whatever we have loaded in there so the, what we're going to do now is cut this in half so that it's the length of this and then we're going to use some sandpaper and sand it down we have this top of um this thing it's the same circumference so as we sand, um, this will rest on um, our pipe really nicely so it doesn't like um, swivel at all. And then we're just gonna get sanding and cut this in half. Okay, we just made a mark for how tall this is and it's gonna be the same length about. So what I'm gonna do now is saw on that mark. Okay, now we're gonna do some spray painting. Okay, what we're gonna be doing is we have this old bike tire and we just finished spray painting our handles and cutting them to the angles that we want. So what I'm gonna do is we have this old bike tire and I am going to wrap the bike tire around like this and then staple it using a staple gun so that our grip for our trigger is nice and comfy. I'm gonna go staple that now. Okay, now we're going to throw on some 5 16 staples. Okay, they were, they're a little bit loose, so I'm just going to use a hammer and tap them in. I'll do that now, and then we'll cut the excess off with a knife. Okay, we just finished making our handles. 
I made another one because we kind of want to have two so we can kind of hold it like this and trigger it and it's like just a better grip. So what we also just did was we have this block of wood and we carved out a little bit like that and we sanded it down with the same thing that we sanded these with. Also we finished sanding these and spray painted. So how this is all going to work is this is going to get screwed on here or zip tied. Um, we're not quite sure yet. Then there's this little notch right there that our bow fits on with that little lip. So it can kind of attach on like that and we'll have our boards running along like this. So we're just going to screw all that in and we'll do a test, a test run sort of thing. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is put our zip ties in and zip tie this to the belt. These are each like 75 pounds each, so three of them should be more than enough. So, what we're going to do is zip tie this all in together. So, I'm going to squeeze that. Get my first one ready. I can get it, I think so. Yeah, there we go. First one is always gonna be the hardest. And I just have to flip on the rest. So I'm gonna tighten this one up and do the same thing for the other ones. Okay, so we're gonna tighten these zip ties. We made a change of plans and decided that three wasn't stable enough, so we cut a few more holes and we're gonna do five. So the goal here, why we're doing five, is so that it stay, the bow was wiggling a little bit and we want it to be as stationary as possible so that our shots are consistent. Okay, so we decided that it looks a little ragged, so we're just going to spray paint it up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put our rails on. Then we're going to do the trigger and handles. Okay. So what we're going to be doing to attach our rails is we just drill the hole in the places that we need. Then what we're going to do is take a, a um, screw and um, push it up through there. Then we'll have a washer and a bolt. And we will tighten it in like this. So again, all we're going to do is stick the screw in. The hardest part is going to be finding the little hole, but once you've found the hole, it should just stick right through and you just tighten it up. Okay, so we just finished attaching our board. And again, we just finished securing those. So, next thing we're going to be making is our trigger. What we just did was we got some wire. You could use a um, clothes hanger, like the metal old ones, or you could go buy some um, wire at your big box store. We just got some wire at our big box store and we bent it like this. So this is going to be our trigger. When we pull it back, in theory, there will be a little loop here, and our string will be resting on here, so that when we spin, when this little spin will cause it to cause um, the string to go off of that little notch and go flying forward and send it flying, or our pumpkin or whatever's in there. So then we're, the next thing we're going to do is um, attach our second rail. But it's very important that you do your trigger before attaching the second rail. This is so that you can have the correct measurements on both sides, otherwise this will not work. So, now what we're going to do is attach our next rail. We just finished securing our second rail. The next thing we're going to do is putting our rope through it. But, that brings us the problem. If we want to be shooting everything in the here, from acorns to pumpkins and snowballs, we are going to need a bucket to go through. So, what we are going to do is put our um, bucket, which is just a cottage cheese container, right here drawing a line, which we already did, and cutting it just a little bit below that line, and um, drilling a hole right through it so that our rope can go through it, and um, it's like a um, bucket to shoot whatever we want in there, and it's not too big that it slows it down. We had a big, um, we weren't sure what to do on this. We were going to do a piece of wood, but then we changed something else. We decided on a cottage cheese container because it's light, it doesn't have much friction, and it'll work just as well as anything else. So, we're going to be drilling a hole in this, cutting this, and stringing our bow and arrow.
Okay, this is really coming together. What we just did was we finished securing on this and we added our trigger. It looks really great. Our bucket is secured in there and all we did was just um, put a little hole and strung it right through. So, this is how our trigger works. We bent this so that when it comes back, when we pu as we push this, this goes like this and pushes our string off so that um, when our string is down there, it shoots it off and makes our pumpkin or whatever's in there go flying. Next, what we're gonna do is attach our handle and we'll show it in action. Okay, we got this thing and our first handle is pretty much secure. We might need to add another bolt because bolt, cause as you can see, it's still a little wiggly. But let's see if it shoots. Hopefully it does. All this hard work, hopefully it pays off. Three, two, one. Whoa, that is awesome. I gotta do that one more time. Wow, this thing is gonna be so much fun to use. Like, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, so as we were testing it, our cottage cheese container, it did not hold up. If you can see, it kind of broke through there because the string, it was just too much force for the weak cottage cheese container. So, we obviously cannot use a cottage cheese container. So we're gonna have to take a break and um, come up with something else. While we were waiting, we put on our other handle though. This feels pretty good and it looks pretty good. We're just gonna have to think of something else that we could put in there that would work kind of like a cottage cheese container. Let's get After into it. After lots of brainstorming, me and my dad have come up with this. It's a piece of wood where the bottom of it is cut out just a little bit so that it's a circle and it doesn't hit our screws at the bottom. Because that was another of our problems with the cottage cheese container. It would hit the screws on the bottom. So we're gonna use this jigsaw to just kinda cut out what we have marked in Sharpie. Also, we are going to use some wax from this candle and these, oops, eye hooks so that um, our string can go in the back and we don't even have to drill a hole. We'll just put um, our eye hooks right into here and our string will run through them and we'll kind of, um, when we pull our string back, it'll go back and launch it just like the cottage cheese, but much stronger and less friction. Okay, my dad just finished jigsawing that. He did it because, well, I'm not allowed. So we're gonna use some sandpaper to smooth okay, it out. Okay, one more change of plans. So, our piece of wood actually kept flipping inside of our tube, like it just wouldn't stop spinning. And if we were gonna shoot acorns or pumpkins or really anything out of this thing, it really shouldn't flip. So what we're gonna do is take our cottage cheese container from earlier, put this right on here, and screw it just like in there. So that um, our thing, like it just physically can't flip and it won't rip because of um, our wood. So it can't flip or rip. We're just gonna screw the cottage cheese on and get going. Okay, now to test this thing. We just finished putting on our sights. These are just some eye hooks that we angled from a small one to a big one. So we're gonna throw a pumpkin in and try it out. And pretty much anything that will fit down this barrel, I think we'll launch. All right, I'm gonna take a step back actually, because this thing is pretty powerful. You ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, that was close. I just have to adjust my aim a little bit. It can shoot really honestly anything. It can shoot bouncy balls. Oh, that one hit the target. It can shoot baseballs. These are heavier, so you're probably gonna be a little need to be a little closer distance. It can even shoot acorns. Two, one. Oh yeah, that is so awesome. Whoa, that pumpkin launcher was awesome. Pumpkin? Pumpkin launcher? That reminds me of a joke. Oh no. What's orange and faster than a freight train? What? Da 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 da. Super pumpkin. That was absolutely awful. But you know what's not awful? What? Some fan art that Mr. Wizard 519 made me. Wow, that fan art was totally amazing. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below, and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and bye!